Hiya then folks, welcome to the latest episode of Boating on a Budget. With me, the tight Yorkshireman. And me, Dawn. Yes, my long-suffering partner, Dawn. <laughs> right, on this episode we're going to look at painting the hull, which is going to be like watching paint dry, isn't it? <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, we'll just quickly whiz through the painting, because obviously it's not particularly exciting, is it? So, uh, and I went down yesterday, I put a product called Aqua Steel on all the rusty bits. Um, it's like a chemical reaction, isn't it? It makes it go hard. You don't really know, do you? You're not no. really interested, are you? No. No, it, it basically, it, it kind of gives the effect of the, the rust being varnished. So it like solidifies the rust, stops it getting any worse. And bearing in mind it was only surface rust as well. It's not, yeah, it's not, not made of structural rust. So I did that yesterday. Today we're going to put the the black bitumen paint <laughs> that we used on the hull inside. There's various thoughts on what people say you should and shouldn't do. Some people say you're best more or less leaving it like this so it can all breathe. Other people say you want to undercoat it, top coat it. Some people say to use what we're gonna do. I think it's one of them that's just... Let's, let's do it and see. <laughs> yeah, 100 different options and not necessarily any of them are wrong or right. It's just different ways of doing it. So, oh, and then we're going to do a little bit about the costs, aren't we? We'll run through all so the update all those costs, um, right through from blacking it and everything as to, to what we've spent. Mm. You've spent? I don't spend money. Yeah, there are also a few minor little repairs to do around the hull, which I'll show you as well in a second. Um, but we are cracking on with the painting, even though it might seem more obvious to do the repairs first. But it turned out we've got a couple of three days where the weather's reasonably good, which obviously is ideal for painting. And seeing as the paint that we're doing in here, nobody's ever going to see again, it doesn't matter if I have to touch it up here and there after I've done the repairs. No. It? So, uh, so yeah, I'll stop waffling. And I'll start painting. Yeah, because you can't put kettle on. Because we haven't got a kitchen. Let's get cracking. This is what I did yesterday then. You can kind of see where it was rusty along the bottom. It's now shiny. As I said, that's from the, the product called Aqua Steel. It basically chemically turns the rust back into a solid state. And it's therefore nice and solid and ready to be painted over. As I said, there are odd little repairs which look quite dramatic. That's one of the tie-down uh, tie rings from outside that obviously is rusted through. So that needs just like a little plate sticking over it. And again, down the gunnels, you can perhaps see there's various screws and bits and bobs that are gonna need grinding off. But once we've got the main hull painted, we can then have a little look at them and get them sorted before we start the actual build up. Right, so to get cracking this morning, first off, I've just painted the bits up behind the water tank because I'm sure you didn't want to see my bum sticking out while I were doing that. And now Dawn's going to do the important bit, which is obviously putting the date on. So, I'm not sure we really want to put 2020, do we? Because for most people it's not a year they want to be remembering, is it? What no. with the COVID and lockdown and all that sort of stuff. Well. 2020 it is. November 2020. Very artistic of you that love. It's alright that. Your, uh, your art group will be so proud of you. <laughs> your finest work. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, we'll crack on then. Get this. Are we enjoying painting the inside of the boat then, Dawn? Yeah, it's great fun. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. Which would you rate best? Painting the outside when we blacked it or painting the inside now we're doing this? The outside. Jolly good. <laughs> yeah. Now we've got about the first third done. All uh, all painted. It's going to look like a sultry teenager's bedroom, isn't it, by the time it's done? All black and... Yeah. Dark. Yeah, we'll carry on. But I think 
for the purposes of showing you on the vlog, I don't think we really need to show them anymore, do we? No. There's only so much painting you can actually watch. It's boring, doing it? Never mind watching it. <laughs> Good old mouth it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> at least we got coffee this time. Yeah, at least you remembered a flask of coffee. But yeah, so we'll leave the painting bit there. We'll carry on, get the hull done. But now we'll have a look at the costs that we've uh, incurred so far. First off then, costings wise, we'll just do a quick recap on where we were before. As you can see, we've got the sophisticated laptop again, haven't we? <laughs> Nice spreadsheet and everything, <laughs> scribbled down bits of paper. Uh, yeah, so come to the end of September, which is basically when we just first bought the boat and used it that first weekend. Um, we got the boat that was seven and a half grand, and then the first few bits, including the insurance and moorings, took us to eight thousand one hundred eighty-three pounds and fifty pence. And at that stage, we had a perfectly good working boat. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward to November then, this is where it gets expensive. I can feel myself all of a dither. Because <laughs> this is obviously where we took the boat in for blacking. And although we did put the costings up on the screen, didn't we? We'd run out of time and daylight to film it properly. So we just thought we'd quickly whiz through it now just to bring you up to date on what we'd spent and why we'd spent it. So what did we spend? Spent £14.99 on some screws. Yeah, just a pack of multi-purpose different size screws, so obviously you're always going to need screws, aren't you? 1916 on a mask. Dust mask that we've been wearing, yep. Um, 5 49 on saw. Just the little hand saw that you will see, I'll speak about it again in a minute, but you'll see we've done a, a vlog about setting up our log store that will be coming up shortly. Uh, we use that saw on that as well as other things, so. 249 scraping blades. Yeah, that was for a while we were scraping the hull. <laughs> they were for the, like the little, um, like they're not paint scraper, but they're like razor blades yeah. for getting the sharp yeah. bits off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two sanding discs at 538. I think that's fairly self explanatory, yeah. especially for people who've seen the blacking video. <laughs> Flap discs at 1396. Yeah, again, they were what we were cleaning the hull down with on the grinder. Uh, paint, bilge paint, £102.45p. Yeah, that were the five cans of bitumen blacking paint that we used for that. Books. The books. books. Again, we'll come to them. £18.99. They're three books that I bought to do with wood cutting and log stores and things. I've read some of them and there's some interesting information. I wouldn't say they were life changing, but a little bit of reading. Uh, thickness tester, it was uh, £75.8p. That's what we used on the hull to see how thick the hull was to make sure we got about worthy of all this work. Bringing it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> primer, £34. We've not actually used the primer paint yet, that was what we got. Perhaps saw again on the blacking video, you'd started cleaning the main bit of the hull, hadn't you, where yeah. the blue paint is. That was for living the dream that that had come off nice and easy and we've been able to repaint that so we've not had to use that yet but we've got it ready so um bilge pin 28.94 again we've not used that yet that was again living the dream that things had go superbly in the dry dock and we get a chance to clean out around the engine and repaint the bottom of there but again that's uh, that's ready and waiting in the wings for when that job comes along yeah. uh well is £9.98. <laughs> yeah, that was because we needed them for the dry dock that wasn't overly dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bug treatment, £9.98. Uh, that's for the diesel bug that um, not Sorry, going to it in. £11.95. Oh, £11.95. A little bit more expensive. Yeah, I'm not going into too much detail on this one. We'll probably look at it when we service the engine. But there's a thing called diesel bug that when you get water in your diesel tank it creates a bacteria that ain't good but so we'll cover that on a service in mooring pins 23 pounds 20. yeah they were the ones that people refer to as nappy pins clip onto the arm co so that you can tie up on the side of the bank uh, life jackets uh, 38.62 self-explanatory i think yeah <laughs> gloves 4.99 4.99 for a pair of gloves they're yours 
Yeah, because we're going to come to your gloves in a second, <laughs> aren't we? Yeah. How much were your gloves? Uh, 11.59. Yeah, you can tell who ordered them. Yeah, we They're spent nice, I like them. <laughs> best part of 20 quid on some waterproof <laughs> gloves to keep our hands warm. Which, incidentally, again, if you watch the videos, we didn't even wear them. We <laughs> LED lights, 10.99. Again, we've not actually fitted them yet. We thought we might just stick a couple of them up um, for when we were taking the boat backwards and forwards. Because there were a few lights before we stripped her out, but not many. Uh, but we never actually got around to fitting the extra ones, so they're ready and waiting now for when we, when we do the refit. Oh, okay. Anchor rope, ten pound. Again, self-explanatory. What an anchor rope's for? You think anyway? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, dry dock, 450 shiny pounds. <laughs> Still wincing at that one as well. Yeah, that was, obviously we went in the dry dock itself. Um, again, there's various ways of getting boats out of the water. You can have them lifted out with cranes, you can come out on trailers, you can go in dry docks. Because of the V bottom on our boat, that limited the options anyway. We couldn't come out on a trailer, for instance. So we had to go in a dry dock, which obviously, as you'll have seen, is where they drain the water out and you end up sat on the bottom. Um, and we opted to go in the undercover dry dock yeah. because obviously the time of year we thought, although again that was a little bit more expensive than the outdoor dry dock, the time of year it was we were risking rain and things like that. It can so. work for longer, can't you? It yeah, would, yeah. It would lit up yeah. things. I mean, as it turned out, with the weather we had that week, we were in dry dock, we would have got it done in the outdoor dry dock but obviously it would have been typical yeah. that if we'd gone in the outdoor one it would have thrown it down with rain all week and that would have been money wasted so. uh, jet wash 60 pounds yeah the uh, the marina themselves where we had it took out they come and jet wash the boat down once it's out and they charge 60 pounds for that and anodes yeah the anodes again we're not going to too much detail pounds. oh yeah tell them the price 180. Sorry. <laughs> that was for four anodes um Again, not much detail about them, we'll cover it probably later as we rebuild the electric system. But what they do is, in effect, they stop the 240 volt eating away at the whole... Science. Of science again, yeah, <laughs> we don't really do the science bit, do we? But yeah, they stop that. So, uh, so yeah, for that month in total, oh, including there was obviously another lot of mooring fees and another lot of license yeah. fees, weren't there? Yeah. So including that, the total was... That one there. Oh, is it? Oh, one thousand three hundred and seventy-seven pounds and twenty-five pence. Yeah. So that month we'd spent nearly fourteen hundred quid. We don't want many months like that, do <laughs> no. we? So just to wrap it up, then we've got November's costings, which technically we're not quite at the end of November yet, but we'll not be spending any more money this month, will we? Hopefully not. Not payday yet, so we'll not be spending any more <laughs> this month. So what what have we spent in November then? So we bought a rechargeable light. Yeah, that I think self-explanatory, just light so we can do bits after dark. That was seventeen ninety-five. Yeah. Um, black in paint, forty pounds and ninety-eight p. Yeah, they're just the uh, the same as what we used on the outside, the bitumen paint that we're using on the inside of the hull that you've seen earlier in the video. Uh, Aqua steel. £37.39p Again, the rust treatment that we've uh, we've just put on earlier Mooring fees, £168 Yeah, monthly mooring fee Licence is £78 Again, monthly licence fee So this month we've spent £342.32p Yeah, so not a bad month really No He says through gritted teeth Yeah so, overall, where are we then? What have we spent so far since getting the boat? Bearing in mind this is buying the boat, using it a couple of times, taking it for blacking, bringing it back and stripping it out. £9,903.07. So a bit less than 10 grand. So for 10 grand, we've done all that. Which, even for a tight Yorkshireman, I don't think that's bad. No, it isn't. That's really, really good, yeah. to be fair really good so i think that about wraps this video up which like we say it's probably not been the most exciting video has it yeah. watching paint dry and then us rambling on about costings but it brings everyone up to date as to where we are yeah so hopefully people have liked the video so they'll give it the thumbs up and if they're not already subscribed click the
the subscribe Click, press the bell and ding the little bell <laughs> so that you get notifications <laughs> but other than that i think we'll go and carry on working we'll catch everyone next time yep see you later folks